Greetings, problem-solving enthusiasts. Welcome to an exhilarating journey through the BMO Math Olympiad 2020 paper, question two. In this video, we're diving deep into the captivating problems posed in the 2020 BMO, breaking them down step by step and showcasing the ingenious strategies that can lead you to victory. So let's go ahead and dive into this right away. A triangle has side lengths A, A and B. It has perimeter P and area A. Given that B and P are integers and that P is numerically equal to A2, find all possible pairs A, B. So let's go ahead and draw our triangle here. We can also see that P is numerically equal to A2. So we'll write P equals A2. So we've got our triangle with lengths A and B. So again, if we take a look at the perimeter here, we can put this as 2A plus B. Now that we have this information, we know that P and B are integers. So one way to look at the area is to look at the perpendicular height, which I have labeled as, and we can use Pythagoras theorem to get h squared. So let's go ahead and break that down as h squared equals a squared minus b over two squared. And that again is splitting this up into two sections. And if we get the area, we can get a squared, which equals b squared and h squared over four. And now we can look at a squared, and that is going to be b squared, h squared over 4. And when we substitute this in and tidy it up, we are going to get 1 over 16 b squared times 4a squared minus b squared. So now we have the area squared and we can equate it to the perimeter. So we know that we have 2a plus b which equals to 1 over 16, which is b squared, 4a squared minus b squared. And we'll divide this entire by 16. So again, you can see we have 16, 2a plus b, and that leaves us with b squared, 4a squared minus b squared. And then we can go ahead and factorize it out as well, which then will give us b squared, 2a plus b, and 2a minus b. And we know for sure that 2a plus b does not equal to zero, which means we can simply divide by that. So then we're left with 16, which equals b squared and 2a minus b, so we can cancel this out. So now we have something that we can use, and we know that b is an integer, which means that b squared is an integer. And we know that b squared needs to divide into 16, which then means that b must equal to one, two, or four, and there are no other possibilities. So what can we do here then? Well, we know that B can either be one, two, or four. So let's go ahead and substitute these values in the following expressions. So let's go ahead and take a different color. And we have B, we have B squared, we have two A minus B, and we have A. And remember now, that with this, B can either be one, two, or four. So now we've created a table to find the values of A. So you can see B squared follows automatically, but looking at the equation above, we can work out what two A minus B would be. And then looking at B and two A minus B, we can work out what we have for A. And this gives us three pairs, which is 17 over two, one, three, two, and five over two, four. And these are the three possible pairs of A and B. And remember, you do need to check that these pairs give us genuine triangles. Now, I hope this method was clear, but there is also another method that we can use, and that's Heron's formula. Now, you may not have come across this before, and it isn't covered in the current syllabus, but 
we can use this method to also work out the answer as well. So I'm going to briefly show you how to do that. So I'm just going to zoom in into here and find some space. So again, I'll just draw a triangle out. Now, remember the formula here was S equals A plus B plus C over two. And remember, Heron's formula is a square root of S and the difference of this across S. And we can use this on our triangle. So as you can see here, we can have S being equal to 2A plus B over two. And that is equal to A plus B over two. And we can calculate A squared that way. So if I just note that down, and that could be seen as A plus B over two, and B over two, and B over two, and A minus B over two. And that there would give us one over 16, bracket open, two A plus B, B squared, and two A minus B. And that gives us the same position as we were in the current method that I had shown you today. But with that in mind, that brings us to the end of our video. I hope this was useful. Remember, every problem is an opportunity to learn and every solution you craft is a testament to your mathematical prowess. So keep seeking challenges. And until next time, happy problem solving.